Hello everyone and welcome again to Digi Dance with Kamea. I'm Tamir Gintz, the artistic director and resident choreographer. And I've got with me two beautiful dancers today. Eldar is also my assistant and uh, David. And uh, I'll be taking you on this short ride to have a little kind of comfortable, easygoing, contemporary class. Uh, working together to make ourselves feel, feel good. You can use this class and watch it before you take maybe our repertory uh, workshop, which is on Zoom, or um, before you do a ballet class and just as a kind of introductory work to movement. So let's just uh, release our body and feel lifted by just breathing deeply. And we take our arms and stretch our arms up. So we take a stretch two three, four, and we stretch up, six, seven, eight. We take the arms and stretch them in a position to our head, and five, six, seven, eight. We lift, two, and curve, four, then we go into plie, all the way up. We'll stay there, three, and again, seven, Eight, we'll flat back and stretch forward. The whole back is straight and we'll collect the lift. Eight, now we won't stop moving. We'll take a big breath. Three and drop. Five and there's a rebound fall to the side. Seven, eight, I continue curving in a spiral. Three, four and high release to a spiral. Working on the opposition side, just two and two, four, and we shift the weight into big clears, six and seven and eight. From here, we will take a soutenu, open the arms, four, and just release and plie and bounce in place. So this will be just a kind of a warm up, nice exercise. So Tanya, let's go together. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, and a breath, and to the right, to the left, curve, going down, and we have plie, we stretch our legs three times. Stretch, plie, and stretch. We build a flat back, flat back. Reaching forward, arms back. Now the swing, constant flow. Six, and a curve to the side, you take four, Reaches, really try and look into the horizon in the spiral. Two counts. And move, and then move, 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 move. So then you open the arms and just bounce in place. Reverse it to the other side. So, and at the side, you may play with your hips when you do it. So the curve, and you stretch down. So you really shift your weight all the way forward. Now, when we're doing the flat back, you shift your weight forward so you don't lean on your heels. Eldar is showing it perfectly. And in the curve, the sacrum goes down. Beautiful, and down. One, two, a drop. And spiral. So we keep the sacrum down and round the back. Exhale. One, inhale. And travel, 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 travel. Eight and one, foot in your out and release, release, release. So we kind of walk up 
hopefully from the armchair and we'll continue. So we'll do something really simple now. We're gonna go into flat back and shift the weight on and off of our legs. So I would like you to really think that when you're doing flat back, you reach forward, the weight goes down to your toes, so you really feel that from the buttocks, you are completely lifted off, off on your legs. And then from here, we will take a pull down and we contract, so the weight stays on the leg. And every time we go up forward again, and then we will take a contraction with a curve and collect our body, stack them down back up. So this is the work that we're actually going to do now, but we're going to do it this way. We'll find our alignment and take a plie, two, three, four, and a plie, six, seven, eight, once more, two, three, four, sixteen, all together, six, and then we take the contraction, drop, drop, two, three, four, and the pull into the flat back, seven, eight, again, release. Just let yourself fall, four, and breathe, and seven. Now we're gonna go into the center, three, four, and spiral to the right, seven, eight. And again, we'll take a plie, two, in the alignment. The knees are gonna come up, arms coming down, and up, and again, two, till we have 16 counts. And then, I'm gonna show it on the vid, we're gonna contract down, and curve and literally fall and hug ourselves as we do it. And then from here, we're gonna fly out from the pelvis and reach out with our weight forward. So that's gonna be uh, repeated twice, a contraction again, and repeating it all to the left. Okay, let's go. Okay, center the back, just finding the alignment for 16 counts, and then the drop and the lift. Five and six and Seven and eight and, and plie. Weight on the shoulders. And again, up. Pulling the knees up. Weight on the whole foot. Eight and a one, two, three, four. And a reach. Six, seven, and a down. And a one. And a reach. Now contraction. And a curve on top of it. And spiral. Two plies, plie. Arms down, pressing the shoulders down. And seven. Another two plies. In the spiral, scanning the horizon and feeling yourself with good energy. And now exhale. One, two. And a three. And inhale. So you see from a dart, there's a relief in the body. And one, two. You let yourself go. And you reach. Seven. Now you let the sacrum drop. Three, four, and spiral. Sixteen for the alignment. And one. Shoulders down. And a three. And every time you can really increase your spiral. Mind if the hips move a little bit sideways. And the last drop. And a one. And a two. And a three. Four. And a lift. And a breathe. It looks easy, but you work through it. Three. Four. And a reach. And curve. Suck them down. Three. Four. And breathe. Just let your arms fall. And breathe up. Stay, find your balance, go of the arms, and... So we were warming up and stretching a little bit the lift of the legs and the flat back to establish that position. And now we're going into that kind of really fall and recover sensation using a drop, using a rebound. So we really want to work and breathe throughout the position. So we start in parallel and we let our weight drop down into a curve. So we have a curve, one, two, two, three, three. We drop to the side and we feel how the, the head is taking the weight over the toes to the sides. And as we almost fall sideways, we let the weight drop down 
and breathe back up. This is the point where we have a rebound. So I repeat it. You have exhale and the curve. Energy, fall, drop and recover. Go all the way down, go out to the flat back that we established before. Now you take a stretch on the flat back. Breathe and uh, fall, drop the tail, move sideways and let your head fall. Six, establish a balance and one. So we have a curve. Breathe, exhale and uh, fall and uh, one. Six, straight and plie. One and two. Drop to the side, let your head fall, and up, and first position, and then we do it second position. So parallel first and second, we think all the time of how we let the energy drop. There's a fall and a recover, we fall sideways, we let go of the energy, and if energy pulls us up into the rebound, we Fall all the way down into a stretch and establish a flat back. There are two plies. Then the energy again falls sideways, diverts, yeah? And we'll try to go further sideways. And here you really go up and find your center, yeah? Okay, so let's go. We have beautiful Tanya here playing for us. Five. Lots of good rounded movement. Uh, eight and uh, one. Breathe. Three, four, five, six. Stretch, plie. Stretch, plie. Drop to the side. And four. And suspend. Breathe. And to the left. One. Two, three, four, drop, five, six, stretch and plie, one, two, three, four, fall, fall, and first and uh, two, three, four, and uh, five, six, and plie. Eight. Now one. We pull the sacrum down so we curve on top. And up. And six. And seven. And to the left. One. Two. Three. Four. And a five. Six. Stretch. Plie. One. Two, and a drop, four, and up, and before we go into second position, we'll take a moment to clarify something. I'll show you with Eldar's uh, uh, gracious help. If you're in the stretch forward, in the flat back, and you want to move again to the side, the first thing you do is you drop your bottom, soft knees, and you drop your bottom, and then you divert to the side. So we don't want to see that point uh, that we are, that will show you what is not right to do. When you drop to the floor with your bottom up, so you're completely down to the floor. So from here, always soft knee, drop the tail and divert. So even when you release and round the body, you are always on top of your legs. Let's think about it when we take the second position. Seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, up, pelvis, and four, reach, reach, pull, last time, and curve, two, and uh, three, ten, pelvis first, pull, release, and stretch, eight, Stretch and out, pelvis down, three, four, and uh, pull, and pull, rise and uh, stay. Let's just breathe up 
again, letting the energy go up, and release. So we're in second position. Let's go into second position, feeling really the energy going out. And we take the arms up, keeping that energy already flying out, and but keeping yourself filled with a lot, a lot of air. And then you let go of this hair as you fall to the side. So you fall. It's not the hand doing the movement. It's not the arch doing the movement. You should really let the head feel that you're going all the way to that huge arch. You can either, either live here or die there. So you must be on the way in that arch. And then you let go of the weight falling forward. You shift with the sacrum down to the side. And then there's a small resistance as you lift your arm up, and I want to see that pull down because you let off your energy, so you really have that suspense again rising back into position. So you have a fall, two continues down, four, and side, shift and pull, eight. That's basically our circle of energy for the moment. We're going to go around, but now we're going to do it on two counts, staccato. We went really legato, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll do it two and pause, two and pause. So you really try out to fall to the side, fall, two, and forward, fall, and side, fall, resist, and up, and fall, two, and sa, ta, ta, and sa, and pull now on four counts, low, slow, movement, four, fall, slow, Movement four, and we'll do it ta 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 ta, and quick on staccato. So that's going to be our framework. We're going to do eight going round slow, eight going round back, and two 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 two, recuperating. I really want to see. I'll show you on David with the arms up that the movement will be that the head will look for the biggest arch to the side, then the sacrum will come down. The head will fall. If we go again to the side, yeah, and come up resisting, the head is resisting that lift. So the moment that is crucial is that fall now, because you don't want to go from the shoulder. I want to see the edge of the body going round, and then the edge of the body going round, and then the resist as your weight is flying down. So hopefully that's going to work out, and try and keep that quality when you're in staccato. So starting, obviously. To the right, five and six and seven and eight and a four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one, two and a three, four and five. Now staccato two and one, two and three, four and five. Six and pull, head first and one, two and around, four from the head, making a huge circle life with your head on four, one, two, three, four and one, two, head first, not shoulders guys, and one and two, and now challenge the musicality and just go quickly side up side and quick for yourself ta 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 up ta 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 up stay and with me into plie let's shift seven eight and we'll keep moving arms going out just feel the energy six seven Eight. Okay, now we're going forward and back and side and forward. Just release the hips down to the floor. So if you're in your living room, look around and breathe. Say, thank goodness that I've got a home. I've got a shelter and soon we'll be all out. Out, seven, eight. Let's add arms, three. Four. The idea is really to go into plies, down, four. So just shift, three, four, and up. Next time we're going to go to the right, I'm going to circle the hands around the shoulders. Two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one, 
two and three, four and circle, six, last time staying second, and a stay, 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 and just release yourself wherever you like and move, 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 move. Just freely play a little bit with your joints wherever you like, feel yourself streaming free. Prepare yourself because we're about to take a couple of stretches on the floor. So, ha, ah, just breathe and come down. Okay, let's go down to the floor now and do a lot of, uh, again, some breathing exercise. We'll go forward and we'll go basically, you know, whenever we curve, I found that the first movement usually people do is they go forward with their chest. And I really want to see the edge falling. So let's combine a stretch for the arms and the back and the shoulders with it and just take the arms up, three, four, and lay your hands on your head and push the head down a little bit. And then just stay there. So you really make that kind of a tent around your legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll breathe out all together. Four, and just change position, six, seven, eight. So again, just a stretch, two, three, four, and down, six, seven, eight. We go into a curve, just staying there for four counts, seven, eight. Then we breathe up, three, four, and we change into second position, seven, eight. So let's do it. Five, uh, six, and uh, seven, Eight and a breathe. Two, three, four. The head, the edge of the body is going forward, hollowing on top of the legs. Now breathe. And parallel. And again, making a point that we always drop with the edge of the body first. down. Eight counts bouncing. We breathe and one, three, four, and we go into second position and a bounce. Two, four, and head down. Now I really like you to be with your toes and knees facing the city guys for that stretch. Time. You're sitting on your buttocks straight and just close the legs and let go. So, this will help us when we further go and think about the curve that we drop forward by letting the weight really submit down. So, now we're going to do a kind of an exercise using that, but we're going to challenge the gravity. We'll take our body up in a high release lifting. And now we're going to brush. I'll show you what I mean. We, usually when we take a swing, we let go of the energy, pull it back, and come up. I want to resist. And a one, a two, a three, rebound, up. Now I fall. The legs do something that is a bit similar to what we do in Gram in the first development, but not quite. We have a kind of a rowing position, scooping. We'll use it getting up soon going under one leg in a contraction spiral, we'll scoop the weight, like we're taking a scoop of ice cream around to a high release and throw that ball to the other side. So we have a rebound, one, two, three, four. And after four, we rebound again, and we're going to our back, seven, eight. Let's stay here. Four, eight counts, and I'll come back forward. So, basically, we're going to start that exercise. We have a brush, brush up, brush, and a two, a three, and a four, scooping to the side, four time after, so three brushes and one rebound, four scoops. Then another rebound, and we're going to that candle stand. From there, I will be leading you on with Eldar and David, and we'll keep doing 
some more kind of a yoga oriented stretch workout. So just follow me. I'll be talking as we go. So let's start and just go along. Okay, guys? Great. So a breath up. Five, six, seven, eight, and up. Rush. Two, three, rebound. Just stay there, make sure your weight is on your hands, not on your neck. Now drop the knees to your ears. Look at the star and the feet. We drop the weight into the knees. And now we'll take a roll like a baby to the right side. So basically we're down now into the barrio. Let's continue into a cobra. Way to the knees, go up to dog looking down. Now let's contract to releve. We put the right knee in one, two, stretch, four, breathe up, and let's go again for the same right and a brush. And rush, and rush, and rebound, and scoop, and round, and scoop, and round. One, two, scoop, up, rebound, up, and uh, up to the candle. Hey, you really just think of reaching up freely with your legs, the weight is not on your neck, the knees come down. And don't push, let your knees drop into the floor. Then you roll. Also here, make sure that you let your pelvis down and not reach with your arms. The idea is to really stretch your lower back. Chest close to the floor as we go up into the cobra. Contraction on releve, contract, and release, and contract, and now, the left knee goes in, and you just slide around and come back and join me, and let go, just stretch and feel free. So, we'll take one more exercise on the floor. You can also obviously add to it a nice stretch in second. Usually when I teach, I am a gram-based teacher, but also when I do introduction to my own material that I like to combine all the styles put together and make something that is a bit more fluent and flowy. So, um, we're gonna take a stretch that is a bit uh, kind of body conditioning, gram-based exercise, which I think is very good when you're at home and you feel your body stuck. So basically, we're going to lie on the back in parallel. We're going to catch the knee and just stretch it to us. And just like what we do when we have a good, nice stretch or go to the physiotherapist, we're going to take a stretch to the back against the knee. From here, this is where I start my body conditioning exercise. You have your leg, the supporting leg, really under your hip. And the body is straight. So we're in a perfect retiré. Make sure your alignment here in the hips, you have square hips, arms to the side, and now you contract, you breathe out, and you come into an on of on attitude position. So you really hold yourself up, and you have this beautiful attitude between the two legs. You stretch one leg up, just the working leg, but you keep your hips in place. One leg up, go into second position. Now the supporting leg is joining for that second position like you stand up in ballet, you leave the leg and bring it down slowly as if you would bring it down from a degage. 
and to take two grand battements. Really keeping your square body slow with the resistance coming down. So it's a leg coming up, going down slowly. You come into par parallel like a kind of a pleading movement. Hold your body, pull into your body, and go back into the parallel again. And then we do the other side. So we're starting on the right. Five and six and seven and a stretch. Stretching the knee towards the body. And a spiral, good stretch for the back. Resist to the other arm. And turn up position in the retire. Deep square and a contraction. Straight leg, pull to the side, supporting leg joining, and going down from the degache, grand battement, and a plead with the head forward, and go back, and one, starting the other side. So, into retire. Thinking about the supporting side and just the working leg, just working leg, going to second, just the supporting leg and working leg going down, grand battement, fast, slow, fast, slow and the plead holding your abdominals, last time and uh, one. So if you see what Eldar is doing, the two hips are completely square. So you normally really think that like you're doing a second position near the bar now. You want to have your body straight, standing on your supporting leg. And grand. And let's get up from that lead all the way up. And release forward. Thank you guys. So, we're surely going to continue now with a small plie. So let's take a breath out again, feeling in your arms reach out into the horizon, a bit like in Tai Chi. You just want to have the flow in your arms and use the same ideas of flow, of fall and recover, and rounding the back, dropping the tail, feeling the sacrum really down all the time straight. So we take a breath, one, and out. We drop from the head two. The arms reach, they manufacture, they produce an energy up, but the head is still dropping. So it takes time to recuperate. And we drop to the other side. And we recuperate. And we find our balance. And up. Then we go into Grand Plié, taking our shirts off. This is a kind of imagery that only the two younger guys behind me can use. Yeah? And we come up. After that, we breathe into a high release. And we stretch the back into a forced arch, hips going forward. So let's go till here and see what we have. We have a plie and breathe. And plie and breathe. And plie and breathe and relevé, and up. Grand plié. Two, two, three, three, four, and breathe, and arch, and the hips forward, stretching all the way to the back. Now, watch what I'm doing with Elda. The head will go forward, and two, we shift our weight to our toes, and again, we take a plié. Shifting every time the pelvis more on top of the toes. Down and plie and down. Again, we use that rebound into plie, sacrum down. Releve, energy coming up and release. And we're done. So, if you're confused, don't worry. We're going to do it with you. We do it in parallel, then we'll do it in first, and then we'll do it in second. So. Let's prepare ourselves for that nice 
airy, breezy, clear, using that drop. Every time when we fall sideways and we pull up, we feel how that fall retains its weight and it makes a kind of a recuperation slow and that beautiful moment of suspense is what we're looking for. Okay? Six, seven, and eight. Two, three, and and Take the shirt off. Two. Oh. Lift. Three. Six. And stretch. Pull the head over. Two. And plie. And four. Plie. And six. And the rebound. And relative. Feel the weight, breathe, let go, six, and first position, same thing, starting again to the right, and lead, and two, and drop, recuperate suspense, drop, and recuperate, and breathe up, take the shirt off, big breath, three, Four. Arch and stretch the back. Eight and the head going forward. Two. Plie. No tension, just falling forward. So there's a good stretch in the back. And plie. And releve. Finger opens forward. Three. Four. And drop. Last time, and up, lead, and up, drop, head, suspense, and drop, suspense, breathing into a fit position with your arms, just energy into the globe, and go on, plie, and breathe. And a plie, and plie, six, and rebound, and that beautiful moment when we have that stretch, and just let it go, and breathe. Now obviously you can also go over it and do it all to the other side, it's a beautiful exercise, but really think of that really rounded, never-ending movement and breath as you go through it. So guys, now we've worked our muscles, we had a good breath, and now we want to release our hips, our, our knees, and feel a little bit like freer here in the center of the body, so we'll just put the right leg to the back in fifth position, shift the weight, and go into the knee, change, three, four. So what I don't want you to do is go through coup de pied and down, coup de pied and down. I really want you to feel that you have a rebound from the floor as if it's really hot and you just really click the knee and the cuff is coming up because of it from the floor. So the release of the hip actually makes the whole movement a bit airy and jumpy and reboundish. So you have a high knee, high knee, a three, a four. Then you go with the right to the back. Then you go up with the knee and four and five, six, seven, eight. We do the same thing in second position and then we'll do the same thing with putting our hands to support our back and reaching out with the elbows to feel really kind of stabilized with our back and we'll end up going up into a kind of a prance, breathing up and taking an arch upwards. So it's a nice release plus some a uh, feeling of uh, being on top of your leg in balance. So, ready? Five, the right is coming forward, four times change each time. Five, six, and seven, and eight. So, low, 
four, three, four. Now high knees, high knee, high knee. Three, four, and high, high, and low. High knee, two, three, four. High knee, six. Supporting the back and one. Stay up and reach. And you really go into a slow arch, challenging yourself, lengthening the body. And putting the left leg at the back. Fifth. And five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, and now try and get to knee to your ear. Up to your ear, yeah. And fast. Imagine that your knees are really, really soft and very, very fluffy. So they come up, up, like I use my elbow. Really. And last time. Try and stand still on your supporting leg and release everything apart from your working leg. Now balancing and changing yourself. Squeezing up. So now what we're going to do is work a little bit on releasing our legs, our feet, but continue into a small adage, moving exercise kind of variation that has a bit of a, you know, we'll lift our legs off the floor a little bit. So let's go into fifth position. And we'll do very, very simply a tendu, a two, three. We take the leg out. We'll shift our weight into parallel, falling into the leg. So you really let go, but I don't want you to start doing kind of a jazzy movement with your elbows or shoulders. I really want you to keep the line that we've been working on the whole class and just fall down and the body will react the way it needs to and then you go back into your balance. So what you have basically is a fifth position, tendu, check your weight, shift the weight, fall, rebound the back and the arms, okay? So one, a two, three, a four, five, we go into the center, six, shift back to the back, a two, three, a four, and shift up, seven, eight, and one, a two, three, a four, shift, six, stay down, so again, I'm showing you on the left side. After the second tendu, you shift your legs into parallel. The weight goes into the left leg. I twist back into the turnout, and always the upper back, the torso reacts to checking my balance, going back. So it's also about the coordination of how much you should release your body when you're dancing contemporary. So. You know, if you do some movement in contemporary, parallel, shift, up, stay, and you start being out of control in your upper body, then the whole choreography will get messy. On the other hand, some choreographers, as do I, like a sort of a rebound that is the body's natural reaction to a movement in the leg. So you keep it there. So this is our first part. Then we have our passe. I'm going back. Yeah? We put it down. We go stretching to the side, we shift the weight, and we scoop like we did on the floor. In that scoop, I'll show you with Elda, you really are contracting and trying to see the knee from over, down, up. So you have a breathe, two, fall, four. You reverse the scoop, lifting the leg up. Okay, you saw as Elda just showed you. So again, second part. One, and uh, two, reverse the scoop, stand on this leg in attitude seven, eight. I go down to the plie, shift the weight 
and develop it forward, okay? Again, so don't worry, it's a little bit, we're making a small variation so we can dance a little bit within this technique. So we had a shift the weight, fall. Scoop reverse the weight, step on the leg. Attitude, twist the hips forward and develop it. As you come into that leg, I want you to swish the other one into fuate second, second, and second. Yeah, you do it three times, and second. So basically, every time when you do this fuate, you go through first position, first position, every time, first and out, first and up. So we're starting from the very beginning to build that exercise. Before we do it, let me take you through two things that I'd like you to uh, pay attention to. On the scoop to the side, you contract and look under and exhale. Because you exhale, now you have a rebound of the weight. You stay on the plie and you look at your leg from down under. Now you go into your toes far and go into the attitude. Your hips are lifted and your back is breathing. Now you, you are not facing the audience internal, so you need to have a little fall into your pelvis, plie, shift the heel, sway it forward like a little promenade, and then there's the developer to the side. You shift far, and you go through first, and first, and again, third time, you launch forward and take an attitude turn around the back, off balance. You come forward, reverse the weight, back, yeah? From here, we'll go in and jump. So we have a down and a up, yeah? And we open and change. So I'll show the second part again. We had, from the attitude, we did one cloche to second, second, third, four, turn on the back, finishing five, rounding back and leg, in, twisting up, jumping, opening, and just change if you need to do the other side. We're actually already on the other side to start, okay? So let's try once, uh, I'll be, walking you through the exercise, and David and Eldar will do it fully out. I wish I could, but, you know, we get old and we have to accept it. So, it's my pleasure to see my beautiful dancers doing it. So, let's go. That's six and that's seven. And one and two and three and four and that's five, six, five, seven. Eight and one, two and three and four, take a shake. Six and seven, eight and one, two and three and four and five, six and seven. Now the rebound. One, four and scoop. Four and attitude. Hold and sway. Eight and first. Two. Three, four, pirouette, six and seven, eight and one, jump and three, four, just breathe, six, other side, go and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight to the back, two, really strengthen the supporting leg. Under two, four and up, six and sway, eight and one, two, three, turn on the back, five, six, five, scoop, arm and hand, one, back, three, four and stand, six, four, count, two, three. So 
hopefully you can also reverse that video and try and do it again. So we have some movement wherever you are. And we're going to just really finish because I don't want to do any jumps to wreck your legs when you're on tiles or floors or whatever. Let's just take a big breath up and breathe. Two, three, four, and wash ourselves from anything that might have made us upset today. Up, breathe. Three, four, and wash. As we wash ourselves, every time we're trying to lower the sacrum, the way you see my guys here are doing three, four, and wash. Six, seven, and the last. Time one, breathe up and wash down. Six, come up. Start hovering your arms out. Really feel like you're reaching into a pudding, custard pudding, something that I really like and we don't get much of it of in Israel, so I have to go back to London to have it. So kind of really feel like you're really dipping in custard. All the way up, going to Redeve, but releasing your arms up, find that place, release the arms, and breathe. So it was a pleasure having you with me here in a Kamea home in Be'er Sheva, Israel. These beautiful dancers in my company, David and gorgeous Elda with me. Help me give you this class. I hope you enjoyed it. I suppose it's meant to be a kind of a warm up into the movement that we do when we dance, which is really coming from the heart. So I really advise to do this warm up maybe before you go into a variation class. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again on DigiDance, our digital platform. So take care. Bye. Thank you, Tanya, the amazing pianist.